Hi everyone, I am Dr. P. Kalpana. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to teach you the basics of matrices. First, let me tell you what is a matrix. A matrix is a rectangular arrangement of elements. The elements may be numbers, symbols or expressions. Arranged in rows and columns which is used to express the mathematical object or the properties of such an object. So first I will give you one example. A. So generally the matrix is represented with a capital letter A and it is arranged in a rows and columns. So the rows are the horizontal ones and the columns are the, the vertical elements. Suppose here 1, 2, 3 up to n columns are there and 1, 2, 3, 4 and m rows are there. Then the elements. So this is the first row. First column element A11, A12, A13 and this is A1, N. Similarly, this is second row. So A21, A22, A23 and A2N. A31, A32, A33, A3N. So similarly, this is AM1, AM2, AM3 and AMN. So in this way we can write the matrix and so the general generally the element is represented A I J. I is the I represents the row and J represents the column and the order this is M by N. So the matrix may be a 2 by 2 matrix, a 3 by 3 matrix or 1 by 2 matrix, 1 by 3 matrix. So based on that order we can divide different types of matrices. So first I will tell you the different types of the matrices. So what is a row matrix? In a matrix only one row is present then that matrix is called as a row matrix so a 1 2 3 4 if you observe this matrix here only one row is present so this is called as a the row matrix and next one is the column matrix so column matrix here only one column is present in a matrix, if you observe only one column, then it is called as a column matrix. And what is the order of this matrix? So first, rows. How many rows are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 rows and the one column. So 4 by 1 matrix. And this is only one row and 4 columns. So 1 by 4 matrix. The next one is a square matrix square matrix. Suppose in a matrix the number of rows and columns are equal. Then that matrix is called as a square matrix. So it is n by n. So 2 by 2 matrix or 3 by 3, 4 by 4. So these are all square matrix. Example 1, 2, 3, 4. An important uh, the term in the, the square matrix is phrase of matrix. Phrase of matrix. So the trace of matrix is defined as the sum of the, the diagonal elements is the trace of the matrix. Here the diagonal is 1, 4. That is the leading diagonal. So the sum 1 plus 4 equals to 5. So that is a trace of the the matrix and in sometimes in questions they may ask whether the given matrix is singular or non-singular matrix. So in that case you should know the determinant. If the determinant is 0 then that matrix is called as a singular matrix. If the determinant is not 0 
then it is a non singular matrix so then how do you find the the determinant of the the matrix so the determinant can be written as 1 2 3 4 if you cross multiply the terms you will get the the determinant so this is 1 into 4 4 minus 3 to 6 so minus 2 so this is the determinant of the the matrix next matrix is diagonal matrix so diagonal matrix is suppose if you take a matrix 1 0 0 0 2 0 0 3 0 0 3 what you observe in this matrix except the diagonal the remaining elements are 0 if any matrix the di except the diagonal the remaining elements are 0 then the matrix is called as a the diagonal matrix suppose in the diagonal only ones are there so that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so this type of matrix is called as unit matrix and it is represented by i and next coming to the null, null matrix null matrix if all elements in a square matrix is 0 then it is called as a null matrix and next one is a symmetric matrix symmetric matrix so in a square matrix if a i j equals to a j i then the matrix is called as a symmetric matrix so what now take a 3 by 3 matrix this is a and this is h and this is g so this is a11 a12 a13 the second term is a21 a22 a23 so according to the symmetric matrix aij suppose this is 1 2 and 2 1 both are same so this is h and a22 so say take some value b and a23 so this is a e and what is the third row a31 a32 a33 so a31 and a13 so this is g and a32 and a23 so this is e and this is c so in a matrix a i j equals to a j i then that matrix is called as a symmetric matrix so a h g h b e g e c so this is an example of symmetric matrix and the next one is a skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix if a i j equals to minus a j i then the matrix is called as a the skew symmetric matrix so this is a h g minus h b e and minus g minus e c so this is the example of the the skew symmetric matrix if you see if you take a i j so a i j 1 2 i is 1 and 2 and this is a 2 1 so what is a 1 2 h and a 2 1 is minus h so both are same so similarly if you take a 1 3 and a 3 1 so g equals to minus z and similarly a 2 3 and a 3 2 e equals to minus e 
So in a matrix, if a i j equals to minus a j i, then the matrix is called as the skew symmetric matrix. And the next one is the the triangular the matrix. Triangular matrix. Here we can observe two types of uh, mat triangular matrix. One is upper triangular matrix, and another one is a the lower triangular the matrix. In a square matrix, so like uh, two, three, four, zero, one, two, zero, two, sorry, zero. Three. If you observe this matrix, the below the diagonal elements are zero. Then that matrix is called as the upper triangular matrix. Suppose two zero zero three one zero two three four. Here, above the diagonal elements are zero. So this is called as the the lower triangular the matrix. So this is about the different types of matrices. If you feel this video is informative, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Click the bell icon for quick updates.